And joining us now is CBS News medical contributor, Dr. Tara Narula. Tara, why is this such a big deal? Well, there's several reasons. This is the first time that a genetic therapy has been used to treat an inherited disease in the United States. Secondly, it's the first time that a corrective gene has been given directly to the patient. But the third is that this disorder we're talking about, LCA, it is a disorder that has no treatment. It has no cure. People can really only see in very bright light. They see blurry vision and then eventually lose their vision and become extremely visually impaired over time. So what this does, Anthony, is when you talk to children, for example, who got this treatment, they tell you they're able to see the moon, to see the stars, to see the snow falling in their mother's face. That's the significance of this. It's priceless. Are there, are there others who could potentially benefit? So there is a population in the United States of about 1,000 to 2,000 individuals who carry this RP65 gene and, and a flaw in that gene. However, what this really does is open the door for treatment of other inherited retinal disorders in terms of progressing scientific development and research. We know that this seems to be beneficial early on. We know that it seems to be safe. We don't know yet about what the cost will be and whether people will need more than one treatment down the road. But bottom line, is it gives independence to people. It allows them to function in society, to go to school, to work. Really important. Huge step. Dr. Tara Narula, thanks.